disloyal without knowing. So many people become disloyal, but they don't know. You become disloyal without you realizing. Disloyalty, nobody wants to be disloyal. But it starts slowly by slowly by slowly. And if you're not careful, you start becoming disloyal. And there is a level of disloyalty you reach and you realize you are disloyal. And some of us, we continue being disloyal instead of changing. So today, I want us to walk in this journey of disloyalty. I have said being disloyal is simply being unfaithful. Hello? There are two reasons why you must know you as a person. The stages of disloyalty. So that when disloyalty knocks your door, you are able to overcome it. Now, it will help you when you learn about disloyalty and loyalty. It will help you identify any disloyalty in you or any disloyalty in a person. Maybe you have a company. Maybe it's a person that works for you in your house. Maybe it's like in church setup or organization. When you learn about loyalty and disloyalty and stages of disloyalty, you will be able to detect it either in your house, either in the church, either at your working place, either in your, in your, in your, in your, in your business, maybe you are doing business, or maybe in your colleagues that you work with. It is very necessary to know. Tell your neighbor it's necessary to know. It will help you to detect disloyalty in any person around you when you learn the stages of disloyalty. Tell your neighbor for me, neighbor, today I pray for you that you are going to be found loyal in Jesus' mighty name. Now, I don't want to talk about what is disloyalty because you already know disloyalty is just being unfaithful. Just you are not trustworthy. And I want now to tell us or to start with stages of disloyalty. Stage number one. If you want to know a person is disloyal, either in your life, either in church, either at your working place, either in the organization, or we, wherever, wherever you are, or wherever you might be. Stage number one, it is a feeling of independent. That person have the independent spirit. They do their own things. When others are doing everything that is required, them, they do their own things. If you see someone with independent spirit, detect disloyalty. Even at your working place, everyone is going to the meeting, but them, they have excuses. Everyone is attending the, the, the meeting in Yemeitanwa. Lakini yeye akona shugli. Sayo ndi anambaga ruhusa siju ya kuenda wapi. Sayo ndi anakuanga wapi. For example, in church, let me give an example with the praise and worship. To say me tunava navy blue leo naona wakona navy blue. Lakini kuna mutu watakuja na blue, royal. Anajua yo ni royal blue. Lakini ataki kufanana na wengine. Anataka akue dependent. Anataka akue, you know, one, one of those people ako, ako, ye ako peke yake. Ako kivi yake. So Judy, if you see such a spirit, detect disloyalty. You find, maybe we say, we are fasting. Every Monday, it's our day of fasting. Lakini, mutu walikuwa mejipanga, ya ata fast every Friday. To me announce, for example, every Monday we are fasting as a church. Lakini mtu waseme, ah, since I had decided to be fasting on Friday, watch our funge Monday, mi takuwa na funga Friday. That is disloyalty. You better do both of them. Ufunge hile ya group imeambiwa, na ufunge yako binafsi. Ama wachane na yako, ujoin ya group. So anyone that has that independent spirit, even at your working place, I had a house girl. <laughs> Bobo anamjua. I had a house girl. Unamuacha, unamu, time table ya chakula iko. Leo kuna kuliwa ugali na fish. Maybe kesho kuna kuliwa rice na nini. Ile siku anafaa kupika rice, atapika ugali. Ile siku anafaa kupika chapati, atapika mchele. Then you are like, 
Why did you have to cook something yenye haiko, you know, kwa 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 nini ya, ya chakula, kwa mpango ama the, the timetable. Then she's like, niliona tu nipike fish. Nani house girl? Umemwambia vi, hata umemwandikia vizuri timetable. Na si kwamba kitu ilikosa ya kupika, si unga hakukuwa ya ugali, lakini alijisikia tu apike mchele. Independent spirit that a person can decide whatever they want to do and there is a law and rules and regulations but they decide so if you have a house girl that you see if you tell them to do this they do their own things that is disloyalty detect it you either fire them or talk to them in most cases i tell people in most cases in disloyalty don't keep people a disloyal person will always be disloyal a disloyal person will always be disloyal you find people are so independent. They are doing things themselves. What they think of doing is what they do. And then there are rules that govern them. But they are not governed by the rules. They are too big. They are too big to be in that rule. So if you see people that are so independent, those are disloyal. Amen? The independent stage is number one. And this, it, 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 it grow. It grow and it start slowly like that. You may ignore, you may assume, but it grow and it becomes disloyal. When a person belongs to a group or a ministry or a company or a development or something, they believe they, 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 they are supposed to be together. And then they develop attitude of independent. Those people you need to detect and you need to remove them. If you are doing business, if you are doing business, and you have employed people, and they are so independent, fire them like today. Let me tell you, you can be so talented, very talented, very gifted, so good at your work, very awesome at your work, but if you're not loyal, if you're not loyal, you are not worth to be in that company. You are not worth to be in that house. You are not worth to be in that farm. So, don't be intimidated because a person is so talented. A person is so gifted. And then you are like, if I chase them away, my business will collapse. If I chase them away, my, how, how will my house be? If I chase them away, how will my work be? My ministry will go down. Let me tell you, you better work with people that you can train than working with people that are disloyal and they are gifted. You better train Judy, you better train people to sing. Whether they are singing key Z or key W, let them sing that as long as they are loyal. It's better that way. Than to have a person who is singing and bringing heavens down, but they are disloyal. Afadhali mwenye naimba ki Z. Kuliko mwenye naimba the right one, but they are disloyal. Afadhali you train how wenye wanaimba kama chura. How wenye wanasema eh, eh. How? Train how? Kushinda uletu watu wanaimba kama malaika, lakini they are disloyal. Me, I don't believe in disloyalty. Hata kama unacheza hii keyboard, ukicheza mbaka malaika wanashuka venye umecheza, but you are disloyal. I, 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 I better stay without keyboardist. Ikae hapo. Ikae hapo, ikaange hapo. Badala ya kuwa na mtu ambaye ni disloyal. So tell your neighbor, neighbor, have you detected some disloyalty in you? Or in a person that is near you? Wanasemaje? <laughs> Hallelujah. You find you may call several meetings, but a person with an independent spirit decides to attend only those he feels he should. He feels like. You know, right now we have a minister's prayer day. That is on Tuesday. And there are people that I have never seen them attending the Tuesday meeting prayer. And they are ministers. You have to know that you have entered disloyalty stage one if you are here. If you don't come on Tuesday, you are an usher, you are an intercessor, you are a praise and worship, you are a pastor, you are a leader of any group. Know that you are disloyal. And very soon, I might pull you down and pick another person that is loyal. So tell your neighbor, neighbor, to be loyal. Hallelujah. So, so, such people, they just obey several rules. 
not every rule. If you are a minister in this church, the minister's day for you to meet, you have to keep time and make time. If you don't, that is disloyalty. That is disloyalty. And uh, in the second year of PCC, I'm looking forward to work with loyal people. I better work with two that are loyal than working with 20 that are disloyal. Uh -huh, I'm very serious about this. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, say to change. So, be a neighbor to change. So, be to change. Bona, who be neighbor? If you're part of a company, denomination, you are part of a church, you are part of somewhere that there are rules governing you. Obey. Do according to the rules. Don't be independent. Don't be independent. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Bwana mnaniangalia na macho fane fane. Tunaingia mwaka ya pili ya PCC. We cannot allow to cross over with disloyalty. Yes, and I'm very serious about it. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So there are people in the Bible. There is a person in the Bible. His name was Joab. And uh, Joab was so disloyal to the king, that is King David, and to everyone. Actually, Joab is one of the people that had a very independent spirit. You can read this in 2 Samuel chapter 3. You can read the entire chapter and you will understand. I want you to write it down. 2 Samuel chapter 3, read the entire chapter. But between verse 20, 20 verse 20 all the way to 27, that is where now you see the independent spirit of Joab. You know, Joab was so independent, very independent, that he could not even obey the rules of the king. And Joab was very serious affecting the nation. One person can affect a whole church of a thousand sitter. One. What I was Ironically, it is trained people, they don't leave. They stay. <laughs> Those disloyal people, independent people, they don't go. If you read, you will notice Joab. He never left David's camp. He was like a manager to David. He never go. He never left. He never go anywhere. He is there. I want to know disloyal. Wanakuanga tu hapo, always there. They don't go anywhere. Ata ujaribu kuwa, kuonyesha madhara waende, hawaendagi. Hawaendagi. Ushewa na mtu kama uwe maisha ni mwako. Yani mutu ha left, lakini ni mdisloyo. Ata umfanya nini haendi. You have to be very strong and courageous to deal with such people. You have to make a decision and tell them enough is enough. Tell your neighbor for me, neighbor. Don't be Joab. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Tunadil na ma Joab water PCC. As we go to the next year of PCC, we are celebrating next year, this coming month. We are doing an anniversary of one year. I will not go with Kina Joab. If you are given leadership anywhere and you have not delivered, know that you are already fired. By heavens, and by prophetess Monica. By fire, by thunder. I will not chase you out of the church. You remain to be in the church. But you cannot lead people with disloyal spirit. Amen. And I'm not personal. I'm not preaching this for anyone. I'm preaching it because church needs to learn about these things. We say, hey, probably tafuta tu. Yani topiki yangu. Akuji ya nikatekate nao. Sikati mtu. Na kuambia ukweli. But you have two weeks. To make up your mind and change. Before we do the second year of PCC. You need to change. You need to make up your mind. Tell your neighbor, Mimi, I want to be loyal. You can read the entire chapter of chapter 18 of 2 Samuel as well. Chapter 18 of 2 Samuel. You read the entire chapter. Also read 2 Samuel 12, the entire chapter. 
we are not reading because of time, but I want you to write them down. Second Samuel 12, the entire chapter, in particular, verse 28. Verse 28. And you will see how Joab was so, so independent to a level that he wanted to change the name of the city to be called by his name. And he told the king, king, if you're not coming in this battle, I am going for this battle. And after we win, I will call this city my name. Those are the people that changes the name of the church. So they have such people in church, not only in church, even in businesses, even in organizations. You find someone just doing their own things independently without even noticing the CEO. Even in the house, you find the house girl is now taking over the husband. Yeah, those things are there in the houses. Ah, Jesus. Hey, we were praying with another lady. The house girl had taken over her home. And I told her, the house girl is not a problem. Your husband is not a problem. You are the problem. After telling me the story. Because you find she detected disloyalty long time ago. A whole year. But she kept on. Because the lady was so good at her work. She was cooking. She was, you know, doing the duties at her perfect. And she, she just saw the signals. But she assumed. So I told her, the person to blame here, it is you. Not your house girl. Not your husband. Because you saw the disloyalty and you kept quiet. She told me that if I give my husband food, he will not eat. But if my house girl give him food, ha, he will eat na muliza. Kuna ingine imebaki? Unionggeze? So that is something that started long time ago. No house girl can wake up today and take over your home. They start slowly. Slowly by slowly. Bwana that is stage number one, independent spirit. If you see someone, even in church, so independent, very independent, the meetings of the refined woman, they don't attend, and they are, they, are, they are in the group of refined women. The meeting of men, they don't attend. The meetings of the youths, they don't attend. And if you find where they were, they were just roitering around. They were not doing anything important. That is disloyalty. So from today, be loyal. Be loyal to you. Be loyal to your God. Be loyal to your church. Can you say, I will be loyal? In Jesus' name. Stage number two of disloyalty is offense. The second stage of disloyalty is offense. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 10. Matthew 24, 10. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. And shall hate one another. From this scripture we see. You can see people begin to betray. And hate one another. When they are offended. The Bible says. Folks will betray you. When you are offended. And it is true. When you are offended. Betrayal and offense. They walk together. Together together. I have always been. Very worried about wounded people. I have been with wounded people. And those wounded people, they are so much dangerous because they end up betraying. They can turn against you. A wounded person can turn against you. The spirit of offense opens the door of the spirit of disloyalty. When you are offended, you are offended by the church, you're offended by your pastor. You're offended by the praise and worship leader. You're offended by the ushers. You are offended by everyone. It is so easy for you to turn to be disloyal. So offenses, they are, I can call them the breed or the seeds that grow to disloyalty. Hallelujah. Anyone of you that is hurt, deal with your heart issues. Deal with your heart issues. When you are hurt, 
you are so irritated. When you are hurt, you are so delicate and you can turn up to be disloyal without knowing. And I've said when I started, disloyalty comes without knowing. Most of the people, 99%. So if you are so hurt, deal with your issues first. Don't enter in a relationship when you are hurted from another one. When you are hurting from another one. Because you are entering this relationship and you are going to bring hard issues and you are going to bring betrayal because you are not genuine with this one. Because you are worried. Will this one work? Will this one end up like the other one? So you end up betraying the person who loves you so much because of the hurting issues that you have in your heart. Even in church, if you have a heart issue with a church, you better stay at home because you are going to start turning other people to be disloyal like you. You'll start telling them very innocently. Mimi Judea meni kwaza. Kwaza hizo uniform wanasema tuvai. Ana ni kwaza sana. Hata tukiimba na imba nyimbo mtu ajui. You are hurting already. So you are telling another person as you tell them you are bringing them to your camp. You start now camping against Judy. You start camping against Apostle. You start camping against the other person. Now that camp, at the end of it, it turn up to be very dangerous. A hurting person is very dangerous. They can turn against you. So, Uliza Jiraniyako, are you hurting? Uliza, are you hurting? We see the story of Amnon. Amnon raped her sister Tamar in the book of Leviticus. You can read uh, chapter 20. In the book of Leviticus, we see Amnon raping Tamar. Now, the brother of Amnon kept hurting inside of him. He kept hurting and hurting and hurting. Alikuwa naitua Absalom. Absalom was the brother to Amnon. Half brother. And Amnon raped their sister, Tamar. Absalom was so hurting. Very hurting. He kept quiet. The Bible says he kept quiet for two good years. He never spoke to his brother. Anyone that is keeping quiet on you, they are not angry. They are not happy. They are not, they are just there. You cannot tell the feeling. They are dangerous. They can kill you. Because Absalom ended killing the brother. So, if you are hurting, tell your brother, if you are hurting, deal with your heart issues. So, Absalom was so angry because Amnon raped her sister. He kept hurting. By the end of two years, he killed his brother. By the end of two years, he had messed a lot of people. So anyone that you see with offenses, even in your house, even at your working place, someone that cannot overcome offense, they are dangerous. After two weeks, anakukumbusha. After a month, anakukumbusha. After three months, bado anakumbuka. They carry offense. Anyone that cannot release an offense is a candidate of disloyalty. And they enter without knowing. They think they are, you know, they think they are, they are hurting, they are crying, and all that, but they end up being disloyal. So, if you have an offense, deal with it. That is why I tell people, release people so quickly, forgive very fast. Because you can turn up to be disloyal even to yourself. To yourself, you. Because when you keep that grudge, when you keep that heart inside of you, in other words, what are you doing to your heart? You are becoming disloyal to your heart. You are becoming disloyal to your feelings. Be loyal to yourself, to your God, to your church. Tell your neighbor, be loyal to yourself. If you are hurting, deal with your heart issues. Stage three. Stage three in a graduate sasa. To mengia stage three, passivity. See? 
is after being offended by one thing or another, you know, you just keep it by yourself. You know, I don't want to be hurt again. I better stay. I don't want to mess again. I better stay. I don't want to be messed. I better stay. Unaona wala watu kujiondoa. How watu ni disloyalty? Mtu anajiondoa anajiondoa kwa nini? Mbona unajiondoa? Kama ni kazini unajiondoa kwa nini umeajiriwa hapo? Kama ni church unajiondoa kwa nini na wewe ni wa hiyo kanisa? Afadhali uondoke badala ujiondoe na ukae hapo. Usha notice watu wengi wanenye anajiondoanga kwa kaka kitu. Haondoki, ako tu hapo bado anasikia Kenya mnasema, anaona Kenya mnasema but haendi. That is disloyalty. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. When a person is in the passive stage of disloyalty, he does not involve himself in much. He sits down, watch and concerned, he's uninvolved, he's just there. Even in church, why? Mimi saki issue, acha tu nijikalie. Wewe sio Asha, wewe sio praise and worship, hauombi. Yaani there is nothing literally you are doing in church. That is very dangerous. Hata kama hujui kuimba, utashindwa kuomba kweli. Hata kama hujui kufagia kanisa, utashindwa kuomba kweli. There must be something you must do in your church. There must be something you must do. These people that wanajiondoanga, hey, acha mimi nijitoe kwa hiyo mchezo. They are dangerous. Hata kazi ni kwenu ukisikia mtu anasema hivyo, huyo either ujue venye mtatengana na yeye kwa sababu at some point atakuhurt. Even in the house, kuna shida kubwa inaweza tokea mpaka mtu akupe sumu. There is a big problem. Those people that are involved, are involved, they are unconcerned what is happening even in church they are dangerous hata kujua kama kuna kitu ya youth youth wamwambua abaki atabaki yes lakini atakaa pale nyuma na haongei mkimuuliza swali asema eh niko sawa uko sawa na hiyo eh niko sawa kila kitu maana hataki kujiinvolve hataki ku, hataki kulaumiwa wengine wanasemanga mimi sitaki kulaumiwa afadhali nijikalishe nisilaumiwe that is a disloyal spirit you may think that you are saving yourself but it is disloyalty if you are in an organization or denomination or in a company or somewhere that there is group work you must be involved why are you not involved what are you hiding what are you running away from tell your neighbor my neighbor are you involved in things are you concerned ama unasemanga wacha nijikalishe Hallelujah. Amen. You find a person is not involved in prayers. Hata kutangazwe prayers hakuji. Hata kutangazwe nini hakuji. Hayuko. Lakini Sunday unamuona. Haya. Wewe bado unakwanga wacha chetu. Eh, hey, mimi ama member niko namba 87. Mimi ni member. Lakini mikutano yenye inamuhusu haonekani. Hakui concerned hata haulizi venye kulienda. Hata ulizi kulipitishwa nini? That is disloyal. Tell your neighbor don't be disloyal. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kama uko na biashara ama umeajiri watu. Maybe umeita mkutano mtu hakuji. Ama akikuja ametulia, amenyamaza, hatoi, ha participate in any way. Na sisemi wale watu naturally wameumbwa bila kuongea. Sisemi hiyo. Kuna watu wameumbwa naturally hawaongeagi. Sisemi kuhusu wao nasema mtu unajua they are much much sanguines they are much talkatives all of a sudden they kept quiet hao watu wachunge geukia jirani mwambie chunga watu kama hao jeremiah 48 verse 10 cast be he that does the work of the lord deceitfully and cast be that keepeth back his sword from blood the person in church that work or do the work of the Lord without, you know, concern. They are not concerned. They are cursed. And the Bible say, cursed is who? Their sword has no blood. That means you have not been working. That is why your sword is so clean. You can see from 
that scripture that God expects you to get involved when you have something to contribute, contribute. We are being taught by that verse that it is a curse to be uninvolved when you have something to involve yourself with. It is a curse. Passivity is dangerous because you move rapidly into the critical stage of disloyalty. In order to be critically, you must be uninvolved. Anyone that is uninvolved, they are very, very critical. You must have enough time of your own to criticize, to despise, you know, maybe the decisions that are made. And for you to have all this time, that means that you are all alone. You are not involved. So you have all your time to criticize what others are saying. So that is a very dangerous stage of disloyalty. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, be involved by things where you're supposed to be involved. Whether it is in the church, whether it is at home, whether it is, you know, even at your working place. Have you ever seen women that say, Mimi ni miamua kunyamaza. Haombi. Hajanyamaza kwa uzuri. Ni miamua kunyamaza. Few months later or one year later, unasikia aliuwa mtu. Alichoma mtu na acid. Because it's a critical stage. Whereby you are uninvolved in anything. You are unconcerned about anything. About nothing. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. 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 You will see that Absalom kept quiet for two years. You can read 2 Samuel chapter 13. Read the entire chapter. He kept quiet for two good years to his brother Amnon. He was angry at his brother, but he kept quiet. He was not involved in solving the case. He was not even wanting to be involved in the case of his brother. He kept quiet. Akaifungia. Two years later, he killed his brother. Hallelujah. He kills his brother. You can read Second, second Samuel, I've said, chapter 13. Read the entire, and you will see. When I talk about being quiet, I'm not talking about those people that are created naturally quiet. I am talking about a person who you know. They used to talk. They were so friendly. They were so good. All of a sudden, they are not talking. So if you have friends like those, wali kunyamazia, ujuru wafanyia nini, hakuna kitu inafanyika, jua, uyo mutu seem loyal kwako, because if you are a loyal person, you will tell a person, my brother to be sincere, uli nikosea hapa na hapa. Kwa nini ulifanyia hivi? Muonge, musameheane, mambo ishe. Lakini ukiona mtu wamejitenga na wewe, uyo mtu muondoe kwa maisha yako. Kwa sababu, anything can happen. Absalom kept quiet, planning two good years how to kill his brother. Two good years, he planned how to kill his brother. Hey, another stage, that is stage number four. It's called critical stage. Woo! He says, and your norma. Critical stage. A disloyal person is not passive forever. They don't keep quiet forever. They are not unconcerned forever. They graduate from passive to critical. The progress into the next step of being critical is very dangerous. This is the stage of noticing and magnifying faults. They notice faults, makosa wanayona, wana magnify in akua kubwa. For example, in church, he finds a fault with the preaching of the day, <laughs> with the word of the day, with the praise and worship, with the ashes they were dressing so bad. Everyone, he starts seeing faults. Hata isha menyamaza, he start analyzing. Analyzing things. He starts seeing everything is wrong. 
He starts seeing everything is wrong. He starts even condemning people. Ana kuangalia hivi, ana kuambia kikitu. Unashindwa hiyo imetoka wapi sasa? Ana kuangalia hivi anakuuliza ningu wengine ulikosa ya kuvaa judi yake na uko juu ya madhabahu. Hey, awashas leo. Uliwaona? Sasa anaanza ana graduate from passive. Ile yote ameishi amefungia in a burst. Hiyo ndio inaitwa critical stage. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Like Miriam You know Miriam of the Bible? Wakina Musa. Miriam kept quiet. Even when Moses is married, he kept, she kept quiet. She kept quiet. Everything was happening, she kept quiet. But one day, akasema sinyamazi, Musa kwa nini yalioa huko? She started talking. That is a critical stage. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. She became critical of Moses. She had followed his leadership all the way from Egypt. Without talking. In the wilderness. Without talking. Keep it quiet. Mi, si ariyo huko. Sitaki mimi, sitaki mambo. Mi sitaki kuambua ni mina haribu ndoa. Wacha ni ditoe. Sayo ni passive stage. Mi sitaki kuambua ni kona wivu na bradhangu. Wacha ni ditoe. Ako passive stage. So inafika, a disloyal person can never be passive forever. Inafika stage, anakuwa critical. Anaanza kuongea. Ile yote alikuwa mefungia. Anaanza kuongea. We ujai kukutana na mtu anakuambia mambo unamwangalia hivi unaona ni kama mfereji imefunguliwa mahali. Ushaiona? Hii inaitangwa critical stage. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I'm saying amen leo. She began to see faults of Moses. She spoke about his marital problems. He talks about him marrying a foreigner and it was not advisable. But when he was married he never talked. He was, she was offended, but she never talked. There are people like that in church. There are people like that at your working place. And I know you know them. There are people like that in that organization. There are people like that even in the leadership of church. They are uninvolved. But at a particular place, they reach and start seeing the fault of others. Tell your neighbor, let's be loyal. Mwangalia mwambia, let's be loyal. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Some many many may ask and why why such person have been keeping quiet for that long? Kwa nini hakuongea? Saa hii ndio anaongea. Kwa nini hakusema? Saa hii ndio anasema. Ushisikie mtu akiuliza mtu, why didn't you tell me earlier? Why are you telling me now? Because in passive stage, they are hiding themselves. They are hiding their character. They are hiding their temper. But now in the critical stage is where they burst. If you are in that person, maybe in the office, maybe you have employed someone like that, or maybe in church, it's better you release them early. Let them go. Tell your neighbor, some people, you let them go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why am I talking about this? Maybe you may ask prophetess. Why are you talking about this now? It's because we are already one year old. We are no longer babies. Now tunakura, tunaweza kukura chakura. Si ni kweli? And I have seen this loyalty. I have seen it. People have come into my ministry and mess me. I have endorsed people, even pastors, and they go behind me. I have brought people, you know, in the limelight. Unamleta, unamweka leadership. Unamfanyia kila kitu. Unamuza kwa washirika. And the washirika endorse that person because their senior pastor have said so. And then they mess. And because we are growing. And because you are a leader of tomorrow. You may not be a leader anywhere now. But you are a leader of tomorrow. You have to learn these things to be loyal. Amen. Mimi nimefanyua vituko na sarakasi kwa huduma. Nimefanyua vituko na sarakasi kwa huduma. Nimejionea mengi. And I have to teach you. Now, the other stage so that we may finish. 
There are other stages, but let me uh, touch this one. This one is a stage that we call political stage. Now this is the dangerous of them all. This is more bad than critical, more than passive, more, more, more than uh, independent. It is so, so, so dangerous. Hmm. Because now when they graduate to become, uh, to become what? Critical. They graduate. Wakiwa critical na graduating is asa. Wanaanza politics. Wa ujayo na politics kwenu kazini? Politics. Unapigiwa politics mbaka unaona. Yani, hapa ni BBI na hapa ni tanga tanga. <laughs> unaona politicians kabisa. So, when a person becomes political, he tries to involve others now. He don't want to be alone. He start bringing some others, other people on board. Hataki kwenda peke yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. He brings others in his ideas, in his philosophy, in his kakun, in his organization yenye meunda. Because when a person now is in the fourth stage, that is political. That is a person who has an entire analyzation of how they will have a government. And if you have ever seen a church being broken, that person that is breaking a church, most of the times, they are in the political stage. Hey, ulisikia pasta venya riubiri reo? Iwe alikuwa naambia. Venya munakosana na buwanaka ukila wakati. Mi kuwanza siku hizi ya nibambi. Ha nibambi kabisa. Political stage. Ukisikia mutu wakikuongelecha hivyo. Run! Nimesema aje? Run! Na wewe usikuwe disloyal. Unyamazie yo story. Kama ni kanisani. Usinyamaze na story kama hiyo. Ukinyamaza utakuwa disloyal. Kuja nayo ambia mchungaji. Kama ni kazini. Umesikia mtu venya naongelea boss. Go na uaseme. Afadhali wambu na jipendekeza kwa mdos. Because when you keep quiet, you and the person, both of you are disloyal. Ile yako imekua, you are in the first stage. Haujafika fib. Am I talking some sense? You know politicians, the way they operate. On the power of people's opinion. Many politicians cannot tell the truth because they want to please people. So this person in the political stage, they will not tell you the truth. They will not tell you the good thing of your pastor. They will not tell you the good things of your, of your, of your boss. They will come with lies. And lies, automatically, they are sweet than the truth. Is there any political? So if you see someone coming with this political eh, siyasa, run away from them and don't keep quiet. When a person is becoming disloyal, he tries to involve others. He tries to teach others the formula. He don't want to go down alone. He don't want to go out alone. He wants to go with some people. So, he wants to gather a following and make people believe that he has identified the real problem. Nimejua shida ya kanisa yetu inakuwaga nini? Kujeni ni wapie. Ana wakarisha chini. Shida ya kanisa yetu ni bibi ya mchungaji. Kuwa mwana mke ni shetani. Kuwaza wacheni ni wambie. Angalia koti ya pasta leo. Ijapigu wa pasi. Alafu mna niambia nini? Alafu mna niambia nini? Hivo ndio zinaanzaga story. Kujeni nuambia ni mejua shida. Shida ya kanisa yetu? Hmm. Ni, am, ni apostol John. Unuona yu apostol? Ako sana kwa prof. Uyo ndi anatukulaga. Uyo. Uyo kwa sababu prof anamuamini. Ndi anatukula. Ni mejua shida. So na yu anasikiza. Hey. Ni ukweli. So, anaenda kigain popularity. Anaenda kigain popularity. Ana even siku ingine, anakuwa na watu tano. Haya, mungi kaka, akona watu kumi. 
Na hivyo ndivyo unapatanga organization inaisha company inaisha kanisa inaisha nyumba inaisha Oja hiyo na political stage ya house girl wewe Mwingine alikuwa anapigia mzee Mzee ni hao watu wana traveling sana he was traveling a lot Bibi yako ndio anaingia saa hii saa tatu. Saa tatu bibi yako ndio anaingia mtoto hata hajanyonya ameshinda akilia political stage Political stage. Mzee anapigia. Uko wapi? Hey, ndio ninaingia home. Saa hii, saa tatu. Mtoto anaanza kelele. Kumbe kuna ka politician ndani ya nyumba. Kanada ku gain popularity maana kameona huyu mzee nikiweza haribu achukie huyu, huyu ni potential. Nikichukua huyu nitakuwa niko sawa. That is what we call political stage of disloyalty. Don't allow it to come to that level.